All right, folks, it's Ramsey here. This is the easy SD cartridge for Commodore 64. It takes a micro SD card and it also comes with a Bluetooth add on. Let's plug in. Okay, I've connected the Bluetooth add on and let's tuck this under the cartridge and let's turn it on. And we get the regular blue basic screen. I'll go to my modern computer now and go to Bluetooth settings. And I already paired up as you can see here, Easy ST is already paired. And uh, let's go to open a web browser and do a search for latest CSDB and go to the website here there are new releases and let's try some of them there is a one file demo all I need to do is just click on the link and with the PRG And in a few seconds, it's transferred to C64 and it's running. Okay, let's go back and try something else. Um, there is a C64 music, Street Fighter. Let's click on that. And let's go to the link with the ending with the PRG. Click on it. It resets the machine and loads the whatever you clicked at. There are some more music. There is another one file demo. Let's give that a try. I'll just need to click on the PRG file and it does the magic. There you go. Let's take a look at the next page. There are some more demos. There are some graphics. Uh, HF, HF Turbo Charge. Let's see what is a picture of a car. Uh, click on the PRG link. And here we have it. All right, let's go back and let's try a game. Um, one file demo. Next, uh, there are some more graphics. There is a hunt for gems. Okay, this crack game comes in a D64 image, so you need to download the D64 and open it with the Dear Master. And I need to find the largest PRG file and drag and drop you on the uh, desktop and then just double double click on that PRG file and there we have it the game's running on the 64 right okay this uh, how it works directly from the web pages like um, for example let's Find another game, Shadow Switcher. Now let's go to the page. Here's the game, and let's find the download section. And here uh, it gives the game in D64 disk image or in PRG file. If I just click on the PRG file it opens command prompt it establishes a Bluetooth connection usually does that there it is and then it sends it over to the C64 
there we have it. Um, if you have a large uh, game collection, like I have games here organized as a letter, let's go to M. These are all my games. If I just let's see Mickey Mouse, 43 kilobyte. It should take less than five seconds to. The crunching, I guess. Yep. Yeah. There we have it. Um, well, if I want to find a game easy way, I can just go to the search and let's search for, for example, Empire. There are no results for that. Uh, yeah, I need to go to the main folder and search for empire and let's load empire strikes back i'll just need to double tap on it Okay, thank you for watching and I'm really sorry about this shaky video. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>